Okay, this is just a, a quick video. Um, yes, you can't see my face, and that's intentional because you're looking at the, the frog. Uh, a quick video. I've had this question, or at least I've seen this question pop up a few times. People have asked, well, you who have had NC, you've always wondered if I get the power cap, which is this throttle here. Uh, if I get the power cab, can I use a pro cab? This throttle here, the lights above me, not above the camera. Can I use the pro cab with my power cab? And the short answer is yes. The long answer, of course, is yes, yes you can. Uh, there are some limitations. You, the power cab, if you are not using the Smart Booster 5, SB5, and you're using just the base power cab setup, you must have the flat cable for the power cab plugged into the left side of the panel. Forget the technical term for it. You must have that connected to the left panel for the NCE power cab to work. And the reason for this is the power cab actually acts as the command station and the throttle kind of bundled into one. If, however, you take your power cab and you go over to somebody else's layout, a club layout, a friend's layout, wherever, and they are using the full NCE Pro Cab setup with command station, when this plugs in, it'll actually function as this Pro Cab. So, in buying the Pro or the Power Cab for, it's now listed as $199 on NCE's website, buying this cab, you actually are getting two throttles in one. Oh. So, let's, let's actually demonstrate running the Pro Cab here on the NC or on my system. Now I only have a few inches of track set up right here which you can you can you can just barely make out. Now the power cab right now is dialed up to this orange locomotive. I don't know if you can see the color of the camera because as I said the lighting is here. I'm still working getting the lighting set up. It is set up to control DT and I 204. Now I'm going to use the Coily cable, which should have came with your power cab set up, and I think it also comes with a pro cab when you buy it. I plug it into the bottom of the jack. I don't have the wireless, and I'm pretty sure the wireless repeater for the NCE system does not work on the uh, power cab setup, but I've not tested that myself. I don't have one to get a hold of. Now I'm going to plug this other end of the cable into the right hand side of the jack, and as I do that, Plug it in, you should see the throttle, plug it the right way, come to life. Uh, the, back li the, the, this, the, the back light uh, on the LCD screen doesn't quite work. But it comes in, it tells me it's ProCab, cab address number three, which is not right, is it? Nope, I'm going to have to change the address on this thing. Hopefully this will work now. It was working earlier, I, I went, and I went to go record this video, and everything decided it was going to screw up on me. And I don't know why it did that. Why it's being such a pain in the butt. It's only when it's only when you really need the stuff that it does this that it screws up. Quick power cycle and everything. That seems to be what the problem was earlier. There we go. Select, nope, wrong button. Select loco 8905. Now, this other locomotive here is 8905. I have it selected on here. And I'm using the Pro Cab. No one is touching the Power Cab, and as you can see, if it's the right button, that locomotive moves from my command here on the Pro Cab. And if I grab my Power Cab on my other hand, and you can see, running two trains on about a foot of track, two separate throttles. Now, if you have the Pro Cab or the Power Cab and you're familiar with the recall button, you can cycle through locomotives, but with the Pro or Power Cab, you are only limited to two recalls on the memory. That's the same with the recalls on the Pro Cab when you have it plugged into the Power Cab. If you plug them into a regular command station, 
you are limited to eight. Uh, I think the smart booster lets you go up to six. Normal command station will let you go up to eight. Now, let's say, so I could, I could, as long as I leave the power cab plugged in, I could put more panels in and plug this throttle in anywhere in the layout. But let's say you will have more than two people coming to run trains. Excuse me. And you want to have multiple throttles. Well, you can actually get rid of the pro cab. And if I get rid of it, I can set it aside. And if you have the NC USB interface, which I would show you, except for it's actually in the other room. I have a 60-foot um, antenna cable. It's the it, even though it's a flat cable like this, it's actually the same cable as the coil cable. I plug that in, and just because it's being finicky tonight, power cycle the layout. So I plug this cable in to the right jack next to this one, and now I grab the tablet. And this tablet is not cooperating, is it? Settings. Yeah, this tablet's not cooperating. I wanted to use the tablet because it has a nice big screen, but nothing is cooperating tonight. Instead, we have about an iPod Touch. An old, beat up little iPod Touch. As you can see, it's working there. Bring up Y throttle. Select my locomotive. I'm going to select. 8905, go to my throttle, and from here I can now control the locomotive. Now, with Y throttle on the NCE USB device and your power cab, you have a virtually unlimited number of throttles on smart devices such as iPods, tablets if they're going to work with you, additional computers, whatever, you can actually use those as more throttles. So one person maybe sitting in the yard is using the power cab to be the yard switcher, while somebody else is walking around with their phone or their iPod running their train off of this. And that, that's actually fairly simple to set up. You just have the little board, which is actually about the size of this bridge. It plugs in and then you can just use, you can actually just use this coily cable and then a USB, a USB dash B to USB A, I think is what it is, cable. It's the it's a USB cable that plug would plug into a printer with a big square weird one. That plugs into the USB adapter. That plugs into your computer, and then you load up a software. At least what I use is JMRI. You use that and a program within JMRI called Y Throttle. That then, as long as your layout is within the range of your wireless home network, then these will work. Now, if you don't have a big, long, 60-foot cable to go from your computer to your layout, it might be in the other room, you can always do, like what I was going to attempt to do, but my laptop wasn't working and cooperating, is actually use a laptop or a second computer. And if you don't want to load JMRI up, and if you or if you want to if you want to go the route of you just want to use more pro cabs, but you already have your power cab, then you can go out and buy the NCE SB5. It's a Smart Booster Five. It's a five amp booster, but when you use that, it's a booster and command station tied together. It's the equivalent of a much more powerful pro cab or power cab, and you'll be able to unplug your power cab and walk around with it. You can even upgrade it to be the wireless. So, just a quick review. Yes, you can use the pro cab throttles with the power cab, as long as the power cab maintains being plugged into the same panel, and I would show it, but it's actually bolted in place, the same panel that your track power is connected to and the main power coming in from the wall is must stay plugged into that panel. However, you can have any number of those panels daisy-chained off of it and plug in one, only one additional pro cab, and its cab address must be set to three on your layout, or on your, into the, the, the into it, to work with the power cab. Or, you can use the NCE USB interface. Now, if you use the NCE USB interface, it does act as a throttle. So you can't use another throttle with the USB interface and the pro or power cab. You can only use the power cab 
an MCE or USB or power cab and pro cab. If you're using the USB, you have a virtually unlimited number of smart devices that you can have hooked up before weird things start happening. You will, you will run out of smart devices and people and trains before you start breaking things using smartphones like iPods and stuff. Um, and the app you'll want to download if you're going to put it onto your iPhone, iPod, is JMRI's, uh, well, on here it's called Y Throttle, but on this it's actually called uh, Engine Driver. But just do a quick search for JMRI and that should get you what you're looking for. So thanks for watching this 10 minute 47 second video. Hope that answers your questions.